Yo, what's going on with y'all? Today I'm about to show you guys how to make like a, a little store like with GUIs and stuff. So like when you click like buy, the game sees how much money a player has and then if they have enough, it'll do whatever they're trying to buy. It'll do whatever is supposed to be done and take the money from them. And if it don't have enough, then it won't do anything basically. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys how to do that and stuff. And I just want to quickly... uh uh tell you guys i appreciate you guys support we're almost to 100 subs i appreciate the support and stuff and i apologize for literally i think my last video was like a month ago and stuff but yeah let's get straight into it and stuff yeah i appreciate your support but yeah so first things first you guys can insert a script like a normal script into workspace first up we got to set up uh, a normal leader stat script like you know like player cash and stuff if you you guys have seen me do this probably like seven times if you watch my other videos and stuff but yeah so this is pretty simple you guys already know how it goes game dot players that player added connect function and then parentheses you put player then you want to make a variable you want to do local leader stats you can call this what you want but like just so you don't get confused or like you have errors in the script because you name something uh different here than how you name it different and the other scripts are gonna have i just suggest following the video but yeah we're gonna local leader stats equals instance dot new then parentheses quotation marks we're gonna do bool value then we're gonna put a comma for player then leader stats dot name is equal to leader stats then we want to make another variable local cash then we're gonna do the same thing like before instance dot new they're gonna do int value and then we want to do leader stats then we want to do cash dot name is of course still cash and then set cash dot value for now we're going to set this to zero we're going to set this to zero just for right now okay and then yeah we have our leader stat script up and stuff if you want to uh test just to make sure like you're good and stuff then you can go ahead and do that but for right now we don't need to and then you can just name this you can name this the script itself like here you can name it leader stats or leaderboard, whatever, but I'm just naming leader stats. Then in starter GUI, I want you to insert a local script, right? This is going to be our purchase script. You can call it whatever you want, but I'm going to call it purchase script, right? So again, make sure this is a local script and you insert it into starter GUI. So we're going to need to make two very, oh my, my fault guys, I did not mean to zoom out, but we're going to, need to make two variables. The first variable we're going to do local well actually oh wait, wait i'm tripping my fault guys my fault so you want to go to starter gui right you guys are trying to click a button where it's like it you click the button and then it runs the script right so of course you're going to need to insert a screen gui and insert a text button my fault guys i'm tripping but yeah so here's going to be our little uh purchase button and stuff we'll just put this right here um, we're not gonna like do much to like really decorate and stuff because the point is just for me to show you guys how it works and stuff So I'm gonna just change the color so you guys can just like see the text and stuff But yeah, let me change this to a more brighter color Then we'll name this uh, click to buy And then we'll scale the text Okay, there we go And stuff and as you guys can see it's a button I can click on it and stuff and yeah Um, you guys can name this again what you want but we're gonna we're gonna just call this purchase button and we're going to call this store gui store gui and stuff for purchase script right so you want to do local button and make a variable and then do script dot parent because that's the button then you want to make another variable which is local player which is when you get the local player so game dot players dot local player then you want to do a function you want to do function on click parentheses you want to do close parentheses and then what you guys want to do is you want to do an if statement. You want to do if player dot leader stats. It won't autofill, so you guys will have to type this yourself. It won't autofill for you. But yeah, player dot leader stats. Make sure you type this correctly, because like if you make one spelling mistake or like you uppercase or lowercase something that's not supposed to be, it won't work. Player leader stats dot cash dot value. Then you want to do greater than equal. So basically, it's saying if the amount of cash that player has is either greater than or equal to that amount. So for this, we're going to use 10, right? Because we're basically saying if the player has either $10 or 10 or more dollars, like, you know, anything greater than 10, basically, and stuff, then, and then what we want to do if that player has that amount of money, then you can just insert a part, right? I'm just showing you guys how it basically works and stuff. Then we're going to do game.workspace.part, and we're going to set the transparency. 
oh, I forgot transparency equals one. The transparency is default, of course, set to is default to set to zero. But basically, if the player has enough cash, it's basically they're buying the part, they're paying for the part to become invisible. That's basically it. Then that'll happen. Then we're gonna do else, and then we're gonna put return here. You guys, if you guys want to test it, you can put like print, and then say like you can put print for both. You can put like print and be like print player has enough and right here you can put like print player doesn't have enough if you just want to test it in your output but for this yeah so if a player dot dot cash dot value is greater is equal to or greater than 10 in game that works based on part or transparency equals one and then we're going to come down here for the last part and we're going to do button dot mouse button one click connect on click and boom we are good to go well one more thing so for leader stats, as you guys know, cash dot value right here. Here is your default money. Like when a player first joins the game, this is how much money they start out with. So just for the sake of the video, so I show you guys like how it works and stuff, I'm going to change how much um cash I have. I'm gonna change that cash to ten. I'm gonna I'm gonna test this to show you guys two times just just so you guys know it like works, works, you know. I'm gonna click play to test it. As you guys can see, I have ten cash in my little uh leader stats here if i do click to buy the part itself is right here if i do click to buy boom it becomes invisible oh wait i know i was forgetting something my fault my fault guys i'm tripping, I'm tripping. okay okay so you need to go under here where it says uh game that works based on part or transparency and then you want to do this if player to leader stats and stuff all that stuff after that you want to do then player dot leader stats leaders that okay i just by the right dot cash dot value and then you guys can hold on equals you guys can just literally copy this and then just copy it over here minus 10 my fault guys because it's a store so of course if you're buying something it's going to take the money away from you and then you get something in return that's my fault guys but okay here now when i show it here the part as you guys can see i have ten dollars the part is right here if i do click to buy that's weird it should still take leader oh i messed up the spelling yeah see leader stats yeah see that right there is really what i'm talking about if you mess up literally like one letter the entire not the entire script but like parts of it just won't work like, okay now if i do click to but oh i messed it up too. my fault guys like I, I apologize i apologize okay we should be good now okay we should be good now my fault guys i'm sorry i'm tripping okay now if i do click to buy okay if i do click to buy there we go okay 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 there we go guys i apologize but yes as you guys can see it took 10 cash away from us which is basically all our money because we started out with 10 and then the part became invisible it's still here in the uh, workspace it's just transparency set to one then here just to show you guys something else here i will set our cash to 15 right and then to show you guys it'll just subtract it from it the part is right here don't click to buy just 10 minus 5 you know and then for the last thing i'll just show you guys just so you guys know it like it doesn't work if you don't have enough money like here the part is right here i have less than 10 dollars do click to buy won't work no matter how many times i click it just won't work because i don't have enough money but yes i apologize for uh the messing up and errors and stuff but yes um again i appreciate you guys for all the support we're almost to 100 subscribers as always if you guys have any questions need any help just leave comments down below and i will respond and try to help you and stuff don't forget to subscribe and like if this video was helpful and stuff and yeah i appreciate you guys for watching and yeah i'll see y'all